Okay, this is our third video, and this is what it looks like after the second coat was applied. You can see it looks pretty good. A couple of ridges in there. And again, this is kind of real-time stuff I'm showing you. I'm not editing any of this. Now, these little ridges you have, you can actually sand them out if you want. Or you can scrape them off sometimes with a drywall knife. Just kind of use it like a scraper. I've done that plenty of times. Kind of checking out the surface, seeing if it's going to blend in. And then I went ahead and patched some of the spots that uh, and I, I just use the small trowel for this if you wanted to use a larger if you wanted to use a larger trowel you could put another coat another thin coat of joint compound or now you could actually put topping mix over this which topping mix usually sands it's easier to sand but the joint compound for something like this will work out just fine now let's go ahead and take a look at the sanding and got everything dry there and now it is time to sand. It's our little pole sander. You can use pole sander. You can use a block of two by four on a block of sand the, off of sandpaper. The sandpaper is 80 grit, I believe. And it usually doesn't take much if you haven't uh, put a created a lot of uh, lines, I guess I should say. But you just sand sand all the lines out. And again, if I sand everything and there, I need to fill anything again, or um, something doesn't look right. Sand it a little more, and uh, this should be should be ready for the texture. And some textures don't require a really smooth surface. The rougher the texture, the it doesn't have to be really good. Uh, a lot of times, if you're going to be doing a smooth wall or something with no texture, it's got to be pretty good. So. You can see this is real time, like I said. I'm not spending a lot of time sanding this. When we're done with this video, I was done with sanding. So that's it. Off to the next video on texturing.